Dreams put on hold. All new at 11 small businesses in the Bay Area working towards an uncertain future now. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us the possible bailout and the message food industry providers want everyone at home to hear. Businesses that serve food are banking on the fact that people cooped up in their homes are tired of eating whatever it is they've been eating. And they say the only way they're going to survive this pandemic is if you order to go and deliveries from them. Vegan options, gluten-free, carrot cake, Puerto Rican cake. The cake girl in Tampa baking up a storm. The husband and wife team in business for less than a year, like a lot of people right now, in a tough spot. And so for us, it is scary, the uncertainty of not knowing what's going to be next. Kirby Lavalley says business is down 50%, nearly $10,000 in sales lost. He spent his morning delivering to 16 businesses. Thankfully, a loyal client spread the word to help him out. Just seeing on their faces the, the businesses and we walked in and people are having rough days. They're uncertain if they're going to have a job. We walked in and, you know, it's like giving them uh, these items. They were just, you know, so happy. Each day, small business owners are seeing new restrictions and guidelines as the coronavirus pandemic infects our lives. LaValle posting a video online to let customers know cleanliness and food safety even before the outbreak was their number one priority. But that still doesn't mean people are buying. We've asked Congress to increase the SBA lending authority. We're going to be going up to 50 billion and actually much more than that for small businesses. President Donald Trump vowing to help businesses like the cake girl, but with so many changes, no one knows what anything will look like tomorrow. You know, my employees are thinking about paying their rent today or buying groceries today or, you know, what, what does that look like months down the road? In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.